Hello world, hello Philippines, hello mermaids and unicorns, boys and girls. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it's going to be another episode of my new makeup and makeup review. And we will be reviewing the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Day Bronze and Blush and Duo. If you're new here, my name is Jurgil B. I am a mother of three boys, 11, 9, and 18 months, little savage. I am a makeup addict, a makeup hoarder, and currently in a new makeup journey wherein I am doing a low buy for the year 2020. And that also means that I'm going to be buying only products that I think I will like or certain products that I'm really curious about and I can't wait to buy it. So one of those products will be the new Jaclyn Hill blush and bronzer duo. I am such a big fan of hers. If you don't like her, please just keep on watching. We're not talking about her. We're talking about the products and um, anything new. Of course, everyone is reviewing this product right now, but I just wanted to share um, the shade that I got and I want to share, you know, my skin tone, my undertone to see if you have it. If you have the skin, blah, blah, blah. Maybe you have the same skin tone and undertone that I do. So then you can kind of have an idea of how it looks like on your skin. If that way, if you're really interested in picking it up, but you want to see other people's review first, then I'd like to share mine. All right, so let's jump in into the video. But um, before we do so, I hope that you consider subscribing and support my little YouTube channel. All right. Let's start. I was super excited that I got this on the mail finally and I've been waiting um, to use it until I'm able to review it. So here we go. I'm still kind of new to reviewing things so I don't go over a lot of things here. I just focus mainly on the products. So forgive me if I don't, you know, like if I miss some things. But I'm going to show you the packaging. It comes in this rose gold box which I love so much and the name of the shades are on top right here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I have opened this already when it came in the mail, of course. I couldn't wait, so I'm so duper duper excited. So, okay, all right, so inside the box, you will get a black component like this and her J, uh, first letter initial, and I think it's that gold or rose gold, I can't tell because I'm sort of colorblind. <laughs> But um, it's the type of components that will get your fingerprint all over it. Yes. Um, basing it off first impression, I think the packaging is a little too bulky for me. I like very sleek, you know, like, you know how like my mirror is small and sleek. I like this kind of packaging. This one's a little bit bulky, but maybe it's just protecting the, the product inside. And this is how it looks like. It comes with a mirror as always right here. I don't know if it's focusing, but that's how the product look like. And the mirror is bomb, yes. I look sassy in it. <laughs> All right, so I actually got the shade um, Warm Flush in Golden Goddess. My skin tone is somewhere between fair and medium. I'm like flying in between those. <laughs> and my undertone, I'm actually neutral, but I tend to like warmer tones on me, but I can wear neutral. I can all the time because I am in a very, I'm supposed to go in a meeting today. So I just want to put this on and then I'll go to the meeting, but I have to make sure, hold on. Okay, we got some time. <laughs> it's 2.55. All right, um, okay, where was I? Before I apply the bronzer, I want you guys to know that I already have a bronzer base right on right now, okay? I have the Chanel Soleil 10, the Chanel, on my skin at the moment. So the color payoff for the bronzer that I'm going to be applying might be a little different. So I just want you guys to know about that one. So of course, this is, I've already ruined the review, right? Because why the hell did I apply um, a base? But here we go. Anyways, here we go. I can't smell anything. I smell everything and anything. So it doesn't have any smell or but you my smell right now is something that you can't rely on because ever since, you know, we got COVID, 
my smell has not really returned to how it was before right off the bat this bronzer is very very um, light not in a sense where the color is light but it's it applies so smoothly on my skin and it's a type of bronzer that you definitely have to build up all right did you guys notice any difference i don't know if the camera is picking it up but i surely noticed a big difference in the mirror right here and i have a big light um right in front of me so it's a very very soft coverage when it comes to um the bronzer so it's i'll give you guys the review at the end of it all so all right we're gonna go ahead and try our blush and this is warm blush and i go i'm heavy handed when it comes to my blush all right tap the excess right i love me some drunken blush look i really really do <laughs> okay that is it actually you could definitely build this up so that if this right here is not enough for you like because it's not enough for me so i'm just gonna pack on some more this is my third layer of the blush i am heavy when it comes to blush because it's the first thing that fades so i go heavy on my blush plus i like the blushing look i really do Okay, so I'm done with the blush. This is how it looks like right here. I'm gonna slow-mo. It's definitely perfect for the spring and summer. It's very warm flush, so it's like peachy. I'm gonna go ahead and add more bronzer right now because I have so much blush going on. I just went ahead and swept another round of bronzer okay so now we're done with the duo the blush and the bronzer i'm gonna apply my highlighter but i uh, i'm gonna apply the highlighter now which i actually picked up her highlighter product as well this is not new but um it's new to me so if anyone out there has been wanting to get their hands on or wanting to try this product or her highlighter um this is your chance you're gonna see me apply it on my skin <laughs> i actually got the shade um mesmerized so we shall see if this is perfect for my skin this is like a peachy rose gold type color it's like here it's so beautiful and the mirror as always it's bomb she's always known for having good mirrors in her products Ooh, i haven't taken it out i want to take it off because this always satisfies me oh so satisfying <laughs> crazy i know um and, and this packaging for her highlighter is actually in a rose gold color i think it's rose gold i'm not so sure i'm wearing gold so this is pretty yellow gold so this is rose gold <laughs> okay so it's still the same thing it has the j or her initial so it's a little bit smaller but still on a bulky um component and of course it will show your fingerprint on it which will drive me crazy because i have ocd so i'm gonna keep on wanting to wipe it but um i'm not much of a packaging whore to be honest so it doesn't bother me all right so let's apply this actually i'm nervous because i don't know if it's gonna be really strong or like the color might not be good for my skin tone so we should see Oh boy. Ooh, I think I've liked too much. I don't want to look too shiny for my meeting today. They're gonna be like, what the heck is this girl doing? Why is she all shiny? Oh well. I like to glow. Not that they're gonna see my chin, but We all know it. Well, we're gonna go through the whole thing. Okay, I'm looking at the mirror. I. Sorry. Here. Okay, 
The color is definitely perfect for summer. Not well, spring and summer, yeah, like when it's all sunny and when you're at the beach or something. This is just perfect for that. Um, I definitely will not sport this during fall and winter for sure. I like the I, I like a different kind of color of highlight during those season, but it's it's pretty. I like it, but right now my favorite highlighter I actually went back to the benefit cookie highlighter i love that color on me so this is definitely something i have to get used to again this reminds me of almost like is it prosecco pop or champagne pop i don't know i'm confused between the two but it's okay um i'm not blown away by it I all right i'm just gonna set my face really quick okay Okay, there we are done. Um, I actually applied lipstick already. This is by ColourPop. So anyways, um, all right, so let's get down to what I think about the products. Let's start with the bronzing and the blush duo. I definitely love it. I love the color of the blush on me. The, the bronzer, I'm not so blown away by it, but it's I would say that if you're a beginner in makeup, um, you want to try blush and bronzer. I would say this would be a perfect product for you because it's definitely something that is very very light on coverage that you have to build it up so if you're heavy-handed or if you don't have any experience when it comes to applying bronzer and blush this is definitely perfect for you because you will never go um, overboard with it so if you just apply one layer of this you will definitely notice the difference already if you're new to makeup and then the highlighter it's definitely something that i will not recommend that you go and buy right now you know just like leave and go to ulta and buy it it's definitely something to think about if you want it in your collection yes go ahead and grab it but if you're not into highlighter you probably won't need it if you have like 10,000 highlighters right now and you want to add it in your collection because you're a fan of her you're a supporter yes baby go ahead but like um but if you're new to makeup again definitely not something i would recommend this all right so i hope that i was able to give you any informations or insights on both of these products if you have been wanting to pick it up um if you wanted to know how it looks like on the skin tone that i have maybe we have the same skin tone i hope i'm able to help a little bit uh, thank you again so much for watching. I will see you guys on my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video or if I was able to help you. Thank you again and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.